Hey guys, so this little snippet of our old place is the last you're going to be seeing of it because we are getting ready to move into our new beachside condo here in Kuwait. Yalla, let's go check it out. Hi. Hi baby. Hello. Welcome to our new apartment. I don't really understand what's going on much behind the scenes with Chantal throughout this Kuwait season. And I mean, that's kind of been on purpose because she hasn't really been allowed to explain a lot. Um, why are they moving again? I mean, she, just last week she was talking about having to go back to Canada. And everyone was kind of like, oh, well, you know, she has to go back to renew the tourist visa. But now here we are a week later and she's looking at beachside condos. Ah, uh, I don't know. Like, it just nothing really makes sense. The finances don't make sense. The logistics don't make sense. The travel doesn't make sense. Just nothing makes sense. <laughs> Yalla. There's a doorbell. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay, baby, come on in. Oh, nitpicky comment incoming. Who painted that door frame? Oh my. Did they paint it? Did they have to furnish and paint it? <laughs> wow. Surprise. Beach view. We can cross the road and go to the beach. What did she just try to blur out? That was odd. Okay, whatever is in this parking lot over here, she didn't want us to see. Because I guess that she didn't want the location given away. Which, I mean, it already was, if you guys don't know, like, the T around this apartment block and everything, like literally, literally within an hour or two, this location got discovered on Twitter. <laughs> like this, this, uh, one account I follow, it like posted all the photos, like the listing of this apartment, like ever the rent, everything like, <laughs> um, so like what people are saying now on Twitter, it's like, Oh, it, well now is it going to be like, people contacting this apartment complex like saying stuff about Chantal wow. so whatever she tried to blur it out here this this here I'll move my head she's trying to like blur everything out right here whatever she's trying to do here it kind of like didn't make any difference because people figured it out anyway I mean the internet's insane they can figure out anything <laughs> which so I guess I mean if you don't want your followers to find out anything it just kind of comes to the point where yeah it's kind of messed up that people do discover it and find it and everything but i guess it just comes down to if you don't want them to know don't show them and by filming your whole apartment like this and the outside of it and everything it's giving away a lot of information wow beach view we can cross the road and go to the beach. In the ocean. Take a look. Oh yeah, like she'll be doing that every day, going to the beach. As far as as far as I know, she's not allowed to leave unless he's with her. He ha she has to be accompanied by him wherever she goes. So if he were to be out during the day or doing stuff or at a second job or whatever, she just couldn't leave the apartment and go over to the beach and sit if she wanted to. As far as I know. So. Uh, Leaving the apartment and going over to the beach whenever we want. I don't. I don't think that that's no. Look, baby. Wow. This is our view from our living room. The other one. You can smell the sea air coming in. Ah. <laughs> nice. Cool, eh? <laughs> cool, yeah. This is the lighting in the living room. The flooring. 
Okay, there's a hallway. All right, over here. For, for, for a hot second, I was thinking, there's no way that this is the apartment. It, it, this looks like something out of New York City, like this little studio. I, I, I kind of thought for a hot second, I was like, okay, well, are they going to put a bed in here and then this is their bathroom? But I'm seeing a hallway now, so it looks like there's more to it. <laughs> <laughs> um also i saw in the pics the pictures people were putting up of this apartment listing online i want to say that the apartment like when you convert it to the united states dollar it was like 1600 dollars a month so that's about what she's paying for this and nice finishing yeah okay so let's continue uh, to the hallway going for our Master room. Let's go. Let there be light. <laughs> Here's our master. No master room. So our bedroom has another sea view and windows that open. <laughs> As Salah will demonstrate. See, I'm like, you, you probably can't see it that well because my head, here, let me move my head again. I'm just gonna, I might just move over here for the rest of the video, but she keeps blurring things out, but then when she moves the camera over, you can see what she was trying to blur out anyway. It's like, what was the point of that? Like, here, watch the little blurred segment of this. At first, she blurs out this part of the parking lot, but then when she moves her camera over, it's like, you, whatever she was trying to blur out, you can see it anyway. And I mean, all of this is irrelevant anyway, because people already found out where this is and everything. So our bedroom has another sea view and windows that open. <laughs> As Salah will demonstrate. Oh, wow. That's gonna be so nice in the morning, huh, baby? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine when you wake up. Gorgeous. Directly on the ocean view? Yes. That would be amazing. And this is with the lights on? Let's see the bottom of the master room. Hi. So we have two bathrooms, two bedrooms in this place. A toilet with a bidet and a bathtub. Hey, babe. Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love when we have our own bathroom in our room. <laughs> I love the bathtub with bubbles. Yes, we'll be going to Lush for some bubble bath. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see the kitchen. Yalla. Three, two, one. <laughs> So I'm looking at this under the assumption that she's paying for it. That's just kind of how I view this whole thing. I mean, just just from what I know of what went on in her last relationship and just how I've seen the way that Chantal will go to the ends of the earth for a man's approval and validation and everything, I think that she's making leaps and bounds to try to make this relationship possible. So I think that she's the one footing the bill for all of this. So he probably doesn't care either way. She's the one paying for it. She's financially responsible. He's not really helping out. And if Chantal were to leave Kuwait for whatever reason, if they break up or if she has to go back because of the travel visa or whatever, I mean, I couldn't imagine that they could try to pursue her financially from Kuwait back to Canada. You know, I don't think that this would like, quote unquote, go to collections or anything. So I think that she's thinking to herself, if she wanted to get out of this, it's probably easy. I did see on the website that it was a yearly lease. But I mean, if she wanted to quit paying it like that, I mean, what are they going to do? And I mean, on top of that, I mean, Chantal already has so many things like pending that are. <laughs> so I, I just like wonder, I mean, how did they get approved for this? Because. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> a huge kitchen. A big kitchen. With too many cabinets. <sighs> we can put everything in here. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 
Also, there is a water point here uh, if you want to install the filter, you know? Nice. We're going to bring a filter here. Yeah, inshallah. inshallah. Washer dryer will go here. Yeah, washer dryer. Mm -hmm. The cooking range will be here. The fridge here. Okay. Two of the ranges. The yeah, window. we'll do it after. Yeah, the window with the fan. So they have to furnish the refrigerator, the washer, the dryer, and the stove. I've I've never heard of that. I mean, maybe the washer and the dryer, but needing to furnish a stove, that's a little unusual. Huh. Just another, like, minor observation between these two. She looks at him and talks to him in a way that it says to me that it's, she doesn't, she knows that like in the background, this is all just kind of a, a farce. When she would look at Natter and when she would talk about Natter and when she would think about him, like you could see it in her face and her eyes that she was in love with that guy. With him, it she just kind of seems like she's playing a part. Like this is almost like, transactional and it, it just comes across as very that it, it, she doesn't it doesn't seem like true love and I mean yeah I know it isn't and everything but it's very obvious with the other guy for matter I mean it was she really cared for that guy and it was obvious I mean for him it just kind of seems like yeah she's into it yeah she likes the image of having a boyfriend or a husband or whatever you want to call him but I feel like in the back of her mind, or maybe even the, in the front of her mind, she knows that this isn't real. And it's very obvious. I can pick up on it. It's very palpable. Nice for cooking. Okay. So we continue for the other bathroom and bedroom. Here's the second bathroom. Nice, has a separate shower. Yeah. See, I mean, why are they getting a two-bedroom, two-bath? That's going to be more money. I mean, I, I'd imagine if if a two-bedroom, two-bath in this kind of complex with this kind of view and everything is sixteen hundred a month. I mean, I'd imagine a one-bedroom, one-bath would be. I don't know. I mean, at least like three or four hundred dollars off. So that's money that they could be saving. But it's like, why are they getting a two-bedroom, two-bath? It's just the two of them. <sighs> I mean, I, I guess you could make the argument is that, you know, because of her, like, they need the space and everything, but it, it's it's just, it comes across so obvious. It's like, clearly, it's not this, they're not sleeping in the same bed. They're not using the same bathrooms. They're not, like, it's, <laughs> like, who are they trying to fool? It, like, I, I don't, I don't see these two interact with each other and think that they're a couple. It's more like, Business associates, acquaintances, roommates. <laughs> You're gonna have to duck to go inside. Yeah, it's too quiet. <laughs> yeah. You're too tall for it, baby. Don't hit your head. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's with the little fan on the window? Can someone explain that to me? I, I've seen this in like two of their windows now. I've, I've never seen this before. Is this is this like a Kuwait thing? Is this a different country kind of thing? Am I just like being ignorant American right now? What what is that? What's that about? <laughs> it's very cool, huh? Very cool. Last but not least. Wow. The big window, but this one is not in the sea view. Yeah, it's on the street. Yeah, on this. The lighting. But we plan on making this room a content room. Like a spare room for us to put things in, film. Exactly, yeah. For Mukbang. A content room. All the content she ever does is filming in one spot. I mean, the places she's living at right now, that's where she's always filmed from. That couch or the bed or whatever you want to call that thing that she sits on. I've I've only ever seen her. Well, I guess when she makes those mukbang videos, she does move over to a table. But to need a whole dedicated spare bedroom for just YouTube? 
<laughs> y'all, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, and I've said this before, but, like, I know the financial side of YouTube. I, I know how all of this works. I, I see Chantal's views. I see all of this. The equation that I'm looking at on paper right now, I'm seeing a two bedroom, two bath, 1600 a month, and I'm looking at the views. I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't work. It doesn't work right now. So either there's supplemental income coming from other streams of revenue uh, or it because it, it, it doesn't work. It, it doesn't work. It does <laughs> me saying it four times in a row. But I, I just I, it's so obvious. I mean, they need the two bedroom, two bath because they're not sleeping. To need a content room. I mean, content, really. Content room. It's it's her eating and screaming at the webcam. <laughs> to need a whole room for that. <laughs> for a gaming section. Perfect. And the light will come. Oh, a gaming station. I forgot. So he's a gamer. He likes to, you know, get on his desktop and do... What game was he playing? Like Resident Evil or something? I don't know. He like streams on Twitch or YouTube or something. So what I'm guessing is the gaming room is this will be his room. So he'll have his desktop in here. He'll have his bed in here. He'll have, you know, whatever he wants in here. Do I think that Chantal will ever use this room for content purposes? No. I think that she'll be able to use her own bedroom. Because, like I said, all she does is eat in front of the camera and scream at the webcam. Why would you ever need a, separ a spare bedroom just to do those two things? I'm in natural light. Mm. <laughs> nice. Good. I mean, all in all, it's a nice apartment. I'm not, you know... I'm not docking it or anything. I'm just like trying to look at it from a logistical side, just financially and like, w like what's what's the deal? You know, it's like why is a Canadian woman just allowed to move over to a random country in the Middle East and marry someone there who isn't even a citizen, and then she can just stay there forevermore? How does that work? Because if she went back in February, when when did she go back to Kuwait? I think it was the was it the beginning of February. It was sometime in February, I think, that she went back. And um, as far as I know, the tourist travel visa thing is only three months. So it's kind of coming up on that three months. So does she just get it renewed while still living there? Does she have to go home and apply to renew it again? Like... It doesn't make any sense to me because a week ago she was saying, well, I have to go back to Canada. And then the week before that, she was saying, well, we're traveling. We're going to Thailand. We're going to Saudi Arabia. We're going to wherever. And now this week they have a new they have a new apartment. Like what? <laughs> it, it just seems like everything is so happenstance and changes by the week with them. And that's it. This is the new apartment for us. I cannot wait. We're moving today. And here the control panel. And it's central air based, so this is the thermostat for the central air. Yeah. We keep it now for 17. Okay, on 17. Nice. There's also something called intercom, like someone can call from the basement down, for example, like the building keeper or anyone, ah. maybe restaurant or also, maybe delivery, anyone, uh, you can use this one, call us from down. Um, Jeez, whoever did this paint job did a terrible job. I mean, just like, look at the frame of this window, look at all the, the spotty this, this is the only gripe that I have with this apartment. Whoever did this black paint job around the frames of the doors and windows was, <laughs> I don't know, smoking too much shisha or something. Okay, I, I don't really care about the, the phone to the guy in the basement or whatever. Oh, nice, really. And it's so quiet up here. Howie? What are you doing, Howie? What are you doing? <laughs> that was some excitement. Um, there's been theories that this is a new hamster. 
that the first one I already kicked and they had to replace it with uh, a hamster that looked similar. I've seen some of the photos people have been putting up on Twitter, like the side by side. It's like, Oh, Harry previously had this black line on his neck and this, this hamster doesn't like things like that. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, does she have a new hamster? It's possible. But again, like the whole pet thing, like last week she was saying, I'm coming back home. I'm getting Sam. I'm taking back BBJ. And if you don't give BBJ back, I'm taking you to small claims court. Now, next week she's like, oh, we're moving into a new condo and I'm not going back to Canada. Just everything is so flippant with her. Statement for you, wasn't it? Huh? I'm just putting you here for now, Howie. Just for now. Find you a nice spot. Maybe by the window. Yes. <laughs> you big boy. I just noticed these little hangers for towels. Pretty cute. Are those maple leaves? All right, so this is our first meal in our new home together. We are still unpacking, very tired, but we will feast now, regain some energy. It's been a while since. You know, and she says that she's going to be cooking. You know, once, once, <laughs> once they get that stove and everything else in that little kitchenette that they currently have right now, it's over for you. <laughs> it's it's going to continue. I mean, these these bad habits just don't go away. You know, just, just because you get a new apartment with a new kitchen doesn't mean that you're not going to want to get takeout for every meal like you have been for the last however many years. So I, I guarantee, even though that she has this new, beautiful kitchen, I mean, it's going to be this. It's going to be the takeout boxes. It's going to be the, the tin foil. And it, like, just... So we've eaten... And we'll have an apartment update for you guys soon. So thank you for watching this exciting moment for us. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.